Hey guys, probably 1701 here, and today we are going to talk about the top 25, or I should say my top 25 least favorite episodes of modern Doctor Who. So the 2005 Onwards series. Um, it's not going to be in any particular order, it's just going to kind of jump around a bit and talk about episodes at random. But just 25 that I don't think are the best. The Doctor doesn't really act like the Doctor here. I mean, if you if you like a Doctor that's like, nah, it's up for you humans to de decide the fate. You know, it's not really my decision. I don't I don't believe in interfering with the affair of humans because we all know the Doctor doesn't like getting involved. If there's one thing the Doctor doesn't do, it's get involved. So he's like, y'all handle it. I'm gonna go chill over here. A very Doctor thing to do. Oh yes, and the moon is an egg. I'd like to repeat that because it sounds vaguely important. The moon is an egg. That hatches into a creature, but that's okay because it immediately lays another egg that looks exactly like the previous one. So in Doctor Who canon, the moon is an egg. So anytime you ever see the doctor on the moon in any stories past or present to that or future of that, they're on an egg, like the moon base with Patrick Troughton. Great Cyberman story. They spend the whole time on an egg. Yes, someone wrote that and thought it was a good idea, and someone else read that and okayed it because they thought it was a good idea. So there are actually multiple people that let that happen. Where are my earplugs? Yep, that's the big reveal. Davros can open his eyes. Like, wait, what? You could do that the whole time? I just kind of figured he didn't have the eyes. That's why he has the big robotic thing. Something tragic happened to him. You know, which probably caused the rest of his problems. The no legs, the arm, the chair, the grotesque looks. Uh, you know, so I figured the eyes were gone too. No, they just... Uh, God, I don't want to open my eyes this morning. It's so much work. We can just put a robotic one in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, just put the robotic one in. Just put the robotic one in. Hey, the robotic eyes acting up. Why don't you just open your eyes? Yeah, you, you know what? Yeah, 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 this is good. This is working for me. Yeah. The idiot script. Hey guys, guess what? We got a Game of Thrones actor coming on the show. It's one of the popular girls. Well, we've had some Game of Thrones actors on the show before. Yeah, 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 it's one of the popular girls. Forget her name, but she's coming on the show. And guess what? It's a two-parter. We actually got her for two episodes. We're jumping on the Game of Thrones bandwagon. We're going to get our ratings right back up. This is going to be wonderful. Can I just turn it off instead? No, 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 no. Woohoo! I tell you once more before I get off the floor, don't bring me down. It's the only good thing about this episode is I love me some ELO. I'm a huge fan of ELO. But if I want to listen to ELO, I'll just listen to ELO. Don't have to watch this episode to do that. So I can have the good part of the episode without having the bad part of the episode. Sounds like a good plan to me. Fear her acting. I, I, 
don't really get this story. Like, there's a bunch of trees and plants, and they all group together to save the planet by creating a shield around it because they're actually sentient. Why they would want to protect the humans that cut them down and build houses with them all the time. I mean, are they just cool with that? And what do the humans do afterwards? Man, these plants just gathered together and saved us from this little sunburst. Hey, Frank, when are you going to finish my house here? You know, go cut down some of those trees over there. Also, the whole bit with the girl at the end. I thought she was supposed to be dead. Were the plants protecting her for years? Did they resurrect her? Like a Lazarus situation? I, I don't know what's going on here. This is a very confusing episode. Oh yes, and it's also one of those with Danny in it, that character that they never bother to get me invested in. So when he gets hit by a car in like the next episode, I just don't really care. Because I'm never just... They never sell me on his relationship to Clara in the first place. Really good camera work, really good directing, yes, great acting from the actors, rubbish script, completely rubbish script, the script is just garbage, great directing, love the scenery. Journey to the center of the TARDIS. Do you ever have that episode, you've only seen it on like the first broadcast, and you didn't really like it, but you're like, you know what, I need to give that one a second viewing. It deserves at least one more viewing. But then you're like, but that would, that would be 45 minutes of my life I'd have to spend on it, and I don't know if it's worth spending 45 of my, 45 minutes of my life on. This is one of those. Yeah, I... I don't really like this one. Other than the Dream Lord who is cool, I don't really like this one. I like to skip it and just move on past it. Prowl's choice. This one just totally fails to live up to its name. Just totally, totally, totally. What the fuck did I just watch? Hey guys, you know how in modern Doctor Who we've done such a good job at bringing in classic villains and updating them for the modern series and we've done a great job with it with like the Daleks and the Cybermen and the Master? Well, guess what? How would you like if we totally decided not to do that again? So just because we know you're tired of seeing that, we're going to take a classic Who villain, we're going to update them, we're going to bring them over, we're going to give them a totally modern look that's going to look like complete crap with the way human looking eyes, and we're going to put them in a story that's really, really subpar and uninteresting, and just to make sure you love it, we're going to make it a two-parter just so we know you're interested. So if you like crappy updates to classic characters and boring stories that are two parts, 
This is the one for you. Are you a fan of watching Doctor Who masturbate? Then this is the story for you. Because this is the closest the show has ever come in classic or modern Who to being self-gratifying. This is the closest I've ever seen to Doctor Who just trying to please itself and pat itself on the back, or should I say stroke itself in the front. So if that's the kind of thing you enjoy, you're gonna love this story. Oh, 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 thank God it was only a nightmare. I dreamed it was that shitty ass Doctor Who episode. Okay, here's what I think happened with this series. is Right in 2017, when Chris Chipnell was taking over, I think this is the conversation that took place. Hey, Chris, I heard you just got uh, the new uh, head writer job on Doctor Who. I just wanted to say congratulations, you know. I really like Broadchurch. Why, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. I have some really interesting ideas. Well, you know, one of the great things about Doctor Who is, in its entire history, there's never been a season that didn't have at least one classic in it. You know, the great thing about Doctor Who is there's every season has that one story you can point to and be like, that's what makes that season good. But it always has at least one classic. And most of the time, even a masterpiece in it. There's never been a season without at least one story to salvage it. Yet. So this has been my video talking about the top 25 least favorite Doctor Who stories of mine. I would like to know what you think of this video, what you think of my list, and what your list would be. So comment down below and let me know. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. Other things to do, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications so you never miss out on another video. I also have a Patreon. If you like what I do and get a kick out of what I do in some cases, uh, there is a link to that down in the description below. I have different tiers there with different rewards and different things. Things that let you steer the direction of the channel. If there's anything there that interests you. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.